First thing I'm going to tell you is to open your heart, open your minds to new ideas, new ways of doing things, meeting new people. Every step in your life when you venture into a new area, it's always going to be new things, things you haven't done, uh, things that may scare you, people that you don't know, people that worry you. And what I say to you is that's kind of the beauty of the journey of life. If you think about when a baby's born, a baby learns to crawl, and then the baby learns to walk, and they walk and they fall down, they're probably scared learning to walk, and then they learn to run, and then over time, we learn to do great things. And the rewards are high for venturing out into the unknown, for meeting new people, for seeing things, learning new things. The rewards are great. So open your heart to these new ideas, these new ways of learning. But number two, as you open your heart to new ideas, very important here, don't ever compromise the values that you have learned to this point when you're doing it. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the values you learn at Sequoia, the values you learn at home, values like being honest, values like being respectful to other people, values like being passionate and helpful to other people, values like being nice, helping others, listening to authority. All those values are extremely important because here's why. Just as the rewards are great for venturing into new things, the risks become even greater. And it's never more prevalent in our time than now of the risk that you guys face each time you go into a new segment with the internet. You guys get on that internet. My kids love that internet. Watch out with peer pressure. As you get older, your friends are going to want you to do things that you know deep down you probably shouldn't do. Watch out. Your body will start changing as you get older and will make you want to do things that you know you probably shouldn't do. You better watch out. And in Tennessee, we have the same problems with our players. We have one of the most popular things in our program is called the Mama Board. You do not want to be on the Mama Board. The Mama Board is stories about people all over the country making bad choices, making bad decisions, and they end up embarrassing themselves. We have a statement on the Mama Board. Not, don't do anything that will embarrass the University of Tennessee, this football program, your hometown, your family, but especially your mom. <laughs> and it hits them. And sometimes our players get on the mom board, and we really have to embarrass them. But I remind them all the time, don't be too cool to be great. So many times we make bad choices and bad decisions because we're trying to be cool. We're trying to fit in. And really it's the cool guys that have uh, the stuff, the wherewithal to say, no, I'm not doing that because it's not right. Because remember this, life is about choices and the choices that you make every day make who you are. So that was two. One, we're gonna get out there and do some new things, try a lot of things. Two, we're never going to compromise the value we learn. And then three, wake up every day like you're going on a field trip and it's crazy hair day. <laughs> every day. Crazy hair day is your favorite time in our family. And it just amazes me when there's a field trip how all three of them pop up like that. We don't need an alarm. We don't have to pull them out of the bed. What am I talking about? It's your attitude. It's your outlook every day. You have a choice on how you want to deal with the things that life gives you. Because this is reality. Life is hard. Right? And when you go to middle school, you're not always going to get your way. Things aren't going to go your way. You might get bad grades. You might have to do things you don't want to do. Deal with it. And it's all about your attitude. Because you see you know those people that are real negative and everything's bad and it's always no good or the people that are always positive and they can find the good in everything. I tell my kids all the time, don't ask me how I can receive blessings today. See, everybody prays and they ask for things to come their way. Don't ask me how I can receive blessings today. Ask me how I can be a blessing 
to someone today. Mm -hmm. And that's your challenge. That's your attitude. Now, one of the core values in our program, we call it a relentless pursuit of continuous improvement. And every time we do it, we come to work every day to try to be better than we were yesterday. And one of the players kept asking me, she says, Coach, all you talk about is relentless pursuit of continuous improvement. And I thought we were here to win an SEC, national championship. And I told him, that's not the reward. The reward is the daily journey of trying to get better each day. I, in just a second here, every one of you guys and girls are going to come up and Miss Hill's going to give you what your parents say, here's your reward. It's a piece of paper. <laughs> Which, by the way, we didn't get to graduate until 12th grade. When I was <laughs> Kindergarten, fifth grade, eighth grade, twelfth grade, it goes on forever. <laughs> that piece of paper you're getting is really not the reward. It's not the reward. The rewards you're getting today are the relationships that you've built over the last five years of Sequoia. It's the knowledge and the values that you've gained over the last five years, and it's the memories that will last a lifetime. So as you go through each segment, I'm going to middle school, I'm going to high school, I'm going to college, I'm getting a job, I'm getting married. Understand that the reward is not the end, the reward's in the journey. So congratulations to you, Ms. Hill, I'll pass it over to you, and let's get on with the show.